Uh, so we are short on time. There's three, a few minutes left. Uh, so I'll give room for, did we have a question over here from the audience or was it? And we'll take one last question and then we'll, a uh, piccolo question. Oui, well, s'il vous plaît. Thank you so much, first of all. And I kind of want to end on this because that was so well said, Kelly. So um, I want to come back just quickly to the previous question we just had about um, like what employers can do and how do we kind of create that space. And uh, GP, I think you said that like we should have neurodiverse people in our workforce and that's great. And tying it back to disclosing or not, I think I'm one of this example because I did disclose to my employer, which is a very high performing company, uh, that I'm dyslexic because I needed accommodations on my day-to-day -day work. But that resulted in two things, one being that I have to prove my worth more than others because now everyone knows and now I have like this uh, identity and this label. And second of all, I'm now the spokesperson for disability in my company. <laughs> So both of those are very, very, very exhausting because they're also on top of my full-time job. Yeah. So I'm just wondering, in your opinion, what are concrete things, like not talking about it, that your employers can do on a day-to-day -to, -day to stop or to reduce the responsibility of um, disclosing or not on the people who identify as having a disability or as neurodiverse because that can be very tiring and it's also um, uncomfortable and people are not always wanting to do that, but they're, they, I don't know. Like. Yeah. Rapid fire for the answers, please. We need to break down the systemic barriers. <laughs> that, that is it. <laughs> I mean, it, this happens a lot of time too, right? I've been a token, I've been a token. I was uh, on, on a nonprofit board where I was the only autistic, I was the only black autistic I was the only non-binary black autistic, um, and uh, you know they used that to their advantage. But um, we can't. One, I will no longer put myself in those situations anymore. First of all, I mean I stopped that for myself. But we can't keep expecting employees to put themselves in the situation to say, "Well, I've I've hired this person, I fulfilled my quota, mm. and and now we're good." Um, and not do anything else to support that person or to change the workplace to have that person be supported. It's not just about the workplace, it's, it, you know, about management or anything like that. You can't put somebody into a culture that is already toxic. It, it's not going to work. And you can't expect the person to be the spokesperson of whatever identity that they happen to share. Um, yeah. yeah, we need to break down the systemic issues. Yeah, I think it's, um, <clears throat> I think it's, uh, well, the first thing is to, well, it's, it's a hard question because I know that like I, I work for a large organization and I know that some large, well, pretty much all large organization when you want to move things around, it's like moving a cruise boat around actually. So it takes like, maybe you'll be in Iceland and when it's going to, have done the full 180 you're gonna be in Halifax actually so <laughs> it's it's very hard some Slow so, moving. some so it's more a question I feel that like do you want to fight against this huge boat or do you want to do small things just for you in a way actually and I feel that like in uh, and again it's a tricky question because they get positioned like this sometime and especially in like I used to work for Oracle let's say and Oracle is a huge boat and sometime when you want to raise and grow in the company mm. you have to do things that like you don't necessarily want to do uh, and tasks that you necessarily don't want to do and yeah. uh, you want to be all or you need to be all around the place and sometime yeah. you don't want to do something but you don't want to say it because you still want to do it to grow in the company actually and uh, it's not the like on a happy world it's not a, like you should say listen uh, I don't want to do this or uh, I know I have this disability and I know it's like you're being forward to me and 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 this is a, a, a good um, like you're 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 trying to be nice and you're trying to be inclusive and this and that, but yeah. uh, it's not what I want at the end of the day. Yeah. Actually, but it's hard to say at some point, and yeah. depending of the situation and everything. Yeah.